this video we'll learn how to solve a utility maximization problem where utility is minimum x plus 2y comma 2x plus y which is a hybrid of substitutes and complements uh, price of x is 4 price of y is 1 and income is 18 so here is our problem okay, you want to maximize with respect to xy minimum x plus 2y comma 2x plus y subject to the budget constraint which is 4x plus y less than or equal to 18 x is greater than or equal to 0 and y is greater than or equal to 0 so let's solve it Again, we are going to proceed uh, and solve this problem in steps. The first step will be to plot the constraint. The constraint is a budget set. Okay. So we want to first plot the budget line, which is uh, 4x plus y equal to 18. Okay. So let's plot it. Okay. So if you want to plot the budget line, you will see that if you want to spend all your money on y, then you can afford 18 units of y. And if you spend all your money on x, you can afford 4.5 units of x. So these two points lie on the budget line. So if you want to connect them, we are going to get the budget line. Okay, so it's going to look like this. And the slope of the budget line is 4, which is px by py. Okay. And this is how our budget set is going to look. Okay. It's, it's all those points lying on the budget line and below the budget line. Okay. Now let's uh, plot the preference of this individual. So what we're going to do is we're going to plot indifference curves. Let's pick some arbitrary level of satisfaction here. Let's say 4.5 and let's see how to plot the indifference curve for satisfaction level 4.5. Well, in order to do that, we need to plot all those x, y's that satisfy minimum x plus 2y comma 2x plus y equal to 4.5 equation. So how do we deal with uh, such an expression? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to write utility in a more convenient form, okay, which is uh, we can say that uh, uxy will be 2x plus y whenever 2x plus y is smaller than x plus 2y. So this condition is equivalent to 2x plus y is less than or equal to x plus 2y. Okay, so just verify this. Okay, that you're going to get that this condition is same as this. So what we're going to get is the following that the utility takes value 2x plus y whenever x is less than or equal to y and it takes value x plus 2y whenever x is strictly greater than y. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take this commodity space and divide it into two regions. Okay, one is a region where x is less than y, other is a region where x is greater than y. When x is less than y, utility is 2x plus y, and we want 2x plus y to equal 4.5. So we are going to plot 2x plus y equal to 4.5 line in the region x less than y. Okay. And we want x plus 2y to be equal to 4.5 uh, in the region x greater than y. So we are going to plot x plus 2y equal to 4.5 in this region here. So this is our indifference curve for satisfaction level 4.5. Uh, let's uh, do it for other levels of satisfaction just to just to get an idea of in which direction the preference is going to go up. Okay. So if you're going to check for 11 for satisfaction level 11, you will get an IC which is going to look exactly like this. So just repeat these steps that we have just taken, okay, and you will get something like this. So uh, IC will be shifting upwards in the northeast direction and it will have a similar shape as the previous one. Okay. Let's do another one. Okay. Let's say for u equal to 18, if you want to plot it, you want to get an IC shifted further upwards in the northeast direction and uh, this is how it's going to look. Okay. So if you see the satisfaction level is increasing in this direction. Okay. and the slope of the IC in this portion is 2, the slope of the IC in this portion is half, okay, and that's the case with all the indifference curves, okay. So this is a useful thing to know, and let's see how to solve for demand now. So this is our budget line, okay, the blue color line is a budget line, and this is the 40 February line, okay. So what we're going to do is again, we're going to just inspect on different points on the budget line, whether they are optimum or not. Okay, let's start with this point. Okay, uh, so the slope of the budget line here is four, and if you'll try and plot an indifference curve through this point, uh, because this point lies below the 45 degree line, so the indifference curve through this point will have slope half. Okay, so let's let's plot an indifference curve through this point. Okay, this is how it's going to look. 
So clearly, you can increase the satisfaction level if you move up in this direction. Okay. So let's let's just do the ins inspection at this point. Okay. Whether this is uh, this is uh, equilibrium or not. Okay. So when we're going to just plot the indifference curve through this point, uh, since the slope is slope of the indifference curve towards in this direction is going to be half and in this direction is going to be two and the slope of the budget line is four so this is how it's going to look okay so if you're going to plot it you're going to get something like this okay so clearly there is still scope to improve the satisfaction level if you move up in this direction so we'll continue to do so till we hit uh, the vertical axis where there is no more scope left to move further so we are going to get the optimum because it's the highest possible IC that we can achieve given the budget set okay. so the solution to the utility maximization problem in this case is 0 0.18 so the consumer is only going to consume Y and no units of X thank you